Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alright, I managed to do that without many outtakes. Alrighty, when we left off, we had come back to the ship and... Oh, baby! That's a look... That is a look of a ship if I ever saw one. Oh, I think this one's in purple. Oh my god, there's another one. Okay, well, we'll talk to this dude. See what... I'm pretty sure I could probably never buy this ship. But I want to see, just on the off chance. Just on the off chance, let me see. It's a B-class. It has more slots, but it costs way too much. <laughs> oh, balls. What about this one? What about this one? No, Reggie, balls is not a swear. It is not a swear. Because you treat it like it's a swear doesn't mean it's a swear. <laughs> Alright. This one is A class. Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to buy that. Alright, well, it was worth a shot to look. Just out of curiosity, if nothing else. And there goes the rest of the ships. Bye bye! Alright. I like how I can't really get injured in my own capital ship. That's a nice little thing. Okay, so anyway, it's been a bit since uh, making the last episode and me recording this one, so the trip might be done by now. That's the wrong one. There we go. Maybe it's done by now. It is done. Okay. All right. Let's see if this nets me any significant amounts of money. Activated indium. Okay. Cool. Decent amount of units, alright. Claimed it was a claim to bounty, okay. Well, rather low bounty. Magnetized ferrite, okay, decent. Vortex cube. Vor Corvax casings, alright, alright. Decent amount of units, decent amount of units. Neural duct. That's a product that can be made in this sector, isn't it? Maybe. Geodesite. Oh, that's the other thing that I can do. And a salvaged frigate module. Yeah. Ooh, two. I got two of them. Ah, yes. Please make me, make me more. Make me more. Give me more of them. More. Okay. Well, probably not going to happen. But I got two of them, which is fantastic. It's good enough. It is absolutely good enough. Plus, I made a whole lot of credits, which is just fine by me. Alrighty, we'll drop this off there. Um, neural duct. I'm pretty sure that will not sell for nearly what it's projected to. Because, more likely than not, this place actually makes these scientific components. Maybe they don't? I don't know. But more likely than not, they do. So it won't sell for quite nearly, quite nearly that much. But... We will try it anyway, and we move this back here. There we go. This is the thing that I could make out of all of those, if I knew how. Unfortunately, I don't, so that's not an option. But it will be soon, one of these days. One of these days, I went the wrong direction. Drop this off, because I am a doofus. This is well known. Okay, we're now up to three modules, which is nice. And I can sell the excess stuff from the freighter inventory. Yeah, I had a feeling they were produced locally, so the demand is going to be crap. But still, that ain't too bad to sell that for. Especially considering it was a byproduct of the expedition. Not bad. Uh, vortex cubes. Doesn't sell for nearly as much as I would hope. But, it sells, so we sell it. Alright, we're at a hundred, not a hundred, 1.8 million credits, that's what I was trying to say. And let's set up another expedition, because we have plenty of fuel to do that with. And, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We'll set it up for the other balanced expedition, which will take... Just roughly the same amount of time. 
And, ooh! Uh, Ayabu's Vision, there we go, there's the name, has upgraded to a B class. Nice. That's good to see. That's good to see. And rating is still matched by the fleet rating, so we're good there. Don't need to worry too much about that. And off they go. Oops, that was the wrong button. I meant to go here to look at the freighter. And I need to go there. That's silly. Oh, well. Either way. Now that the expeditions are dealt with and the money is gathered, let us talk to our new conscript dog. Because that's the only way I can pronounce his name. These facilities are glorious, but know that we, Viking, exterminate worlds that show even the merest hint of weapons production. Consider yourself lucky that I am your friend. Grahahaha. <laughs> okay. Violence must be ended. This is the way of Dendog. Dreendog, rather. Dreendog. This is the way of Herc. When murder is gone, the last weapon fired will be at the Viking ourselves, having served our holy purpose. That's pretty hardcore, man. <laughs> nice. Fuck. Metal. <laughs> Metal. I censored myself, Reggie. Okay, I, it, it's nearly it's nearly the time, but relax. I censored myself. <laughs> don't you don't you give me those eyes? Okay. <laughs> As a gesture of peace, the armorer offers me a piece of exosuit technology. They are keen to demonstrate they are more than a simple warrior. Okay, accept the gift. Grah, wear it with pride. Now, before we can begin our work together, there is something we must deal with. Like? Viking High Command would not permit me to reside here and ignore my purpose, Interloper. I have discovered a weapons factory nearby, and to sabotage it would demonstrate our worth. While you are here, perhaps you may also learn something useful for yourself. I learned that the Viking believe that no other species should be able to hold weapon. weapons. Weapons. Uh, I can talk, really, I can't. That after the atrocities committed by the Gek. The Gek? Those little things? Committed atrocities? Okay. I mean, I guess it makes some sense. Napoleon complex, I guess. Makes sense. Only the Viking should be trusted with arms. The armorer gives me the location of a nearby weapons factory, claiming it is operating illegally. If I go there and shut down production, I may be able to extract a valuable blueprint. Fair enough. Gra, go with honor, but be wary. The eyes of the sentinels will be upon the facility. Okay, movement module. Q, let's see what it does for me. Oh, I might need to move some of this crap. Ah, no, I got it. I wanted to move you. And synchronized tanks, whoa. Upgrades my tanks by 128%, plus the recharge rate and fuel efficiency. Jesus. I am liking these upgrades that I'm getting for my things. They're very good. Very good. Okay. Okay, I'll work on that in a second, because our scientist is also online, or at least should be. Unknown life form. I passed my test. <laughs> I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. The Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the convergence or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. Okay. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Well, apparently he now remembers I'm a Traveler. Or just calls me it. Either way. Alright. Talk to the Secretary. Things are aligning. We are now... We are ready now for a Gek Farmer to join us. Indeed, I have already prepared their contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workstation. I actually have that. I have plenty of that. 
Secretary McGain grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with them, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. The overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural terminal plants. Selenium grows on scorched planets and require hazmat gauntlets to harvest. Well, I have plenty of that. Selenium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. Not easy? I did plenty. I did plenty in re gathering that. I don't think it's that hard. Okay. Gather selenium. Well, that shouldn't be that hard because I have some in my inventory. If I only went to the right buttons to do the thing. Alright. Um, there it is. Move and stack. I'm sure I don't need more than a hundred. Uh, I'm just gonna go all the way down and do that. Oh, but okay. And I'll put that in my inventory. I gathered it. And we come back to Secretary. In this cycle, a humble farmer. In others, there is no limit to their destruction. But there is no need to worry. That which you cannot see does not happen. The Overseer's description of this potential farmer is alarming, to say the least. Are they trying to upset me, or is this some re secret released only by chance? Okay, what about the farmer? Do not worry, friend. We would all be very different in the wrong conditions. Such is the nature of things. Okay? I mean, you're not wrong. But what the fuck, my dude? <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. I trust the Viking's technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. It will be interesting to see what effect a second Gek will have on my overseer. I cannot imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armorer. All right. Ah, to farm. We shall exploit the earth, free at last from the sentinels, and practice the glory of trade. Agricultural terminal, a research station tailored to the needs of farmers, and equipped for the analysis and cultivation of farmable crops. Well, I could easily do that. No problem there. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want to trade unhindered. To profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own. The overseer requests circuit boards in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Corvax scientists should be able to provide the necessary parts. I do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the gek. Nonetheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. I mean, I already have one. I fail to see the reason to do that. But, sure, why not? Just build the agricultural terminal to get that out of the way. Whoopsie doopsie, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay. And we make that the color, even though it doesn't seem to change much, if anything at all. Okay. Call that good. Perfect. And I just need to get the geck in here to man it. That ain't too bad. That ain't too hard. That shouldn't be too hard at all. Now let's look at the log. Oh, I just noticed that it would tell the dates and times in the options menu. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Reggie, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just making more work for you. Alrighty. Expanding the base, acquire a circuit board. First, I need to get data from an observa observatory for uh, the scientist, and then I'm sure I'll get that tech. 
Um, hire a base farmer. Shut down a weapons factory. Where would the weapons factory be, I wonder? Where would all of these things be, I wonder? What the? I didn't even know these ships were here. Damn it. Every time. Every time. Okay. Off we go. And we head towards Iguchi. I think that's a Gucci, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we head to the weapons factory to do a thing. And it's also on the other side of the planet. There we go. It's the approximate location, so I need to look, once I get close, for a building that looks like where asked to go, and that's probably it. And sure enough, it definitely looks like it. And there's sentinel activity here. Interesting indeed. Oh, that's pure ferrite on that one. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Damaged container. Let's open that up. Ah, oh, Corvax casing. Interesting. Alright. I am running fairly low on life support, so there we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure this will be... Yep, a reinforced door. I had a feeling. Okay. Should I take that out now, or should I wait until later? Let's wait until later. Right now... Wow, this is going to take forever and a half to break through. Okay, well... Dealt with you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. We'll break that open. Break that open and run inside. And hopefully... Reload. There we go. Hopefully this will give me some protection. Some mild protection. Uh, that is encrypted navigational data. Yep, I had a feeling. Alright. Okay, product, production status, 95% efficiency. The factory was indeed engaged in the production of illegal weaponry, just as a Viking had claimed. I should shut down the production and see what can be gleaned from their systems. Override production. New blueprint accepted. Beginning fabrication. I overrode the production line, substituting their blueprints for something more harmless. The factory will produce light bulbs, at least for now. I take a copy of the weapon blueprint previously in production, although I cannot understand it. Still something. Hey! And it deactivated. Sentinel forces deactivated. Well, that's something at least. Well, I might as well grab this knowledge stone and then those dihydrogen crystals. Go for the easy one first. There we go. Process. Corvax word for process. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Well. They're still all around. Damn. Okay, I just need to wait for them to get bored of scanning me. Walk away. And start mining some more. Okay, there we go. Handy little trick. Alright. And 
we shall break that open. Perfect. Put this back on the ship. Excellent. And yeah, I think that covers everything. Cool. Alright. Fan. Fantastic. <laughs> I just noticed the front of my ship is in the beacon. <laughs> That's silly. Why is it white all of a sudden underneath my ship? What? Huh? Huh? What? I'm confused, but okay? I guess? Um... I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, and this... I definitely need to replace this thing at some point. This is just not good enough. Tell you what. Um... Let's look at the scientific thing. Gather data from an observatory. Search inside a building. Where is the building in question? A ways away. Is it still on the planet at least? It is still on the planet. Okay, well... This will take a little while longer, but I could easily do it from the planet's surface, so why not? Although, having it right on target is still going to be an issue. Oh well. It's the approximate location anyway, so... Even if I'm not directly on target, it's fine. There we go. Had to have a long sip of my limeade. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exactly, exactly help the throat, though. <laughs> As you can tell. By my... <sighs> right after I drank it. Okay, observatory's approximate location is nearby here, so... Just need to get better vantage point. There we are. Didn't need that drastically different advantage point. And another happy landing. Get more died out of that thing. Yeah, and more of these locations have this little white streak. Why is that? It's weird. Why? Why do this? Just in case I need health at maximum, which I don't. Not yet. Open up this thing, and we get the microprocessor! Beautiful. Alrighty. Is that...? No. No, I don't believe it. I left this here after all this time, and it's still here? <laughs> Alright. Cool. Pick that up. And I shall use it later. In other locations. Alright. Here we are. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Alright. Should I? No, probably not. But that's not the point. I have way too many of these. <laughs> How useful are they really? The answer is not enough to justify me picking them up all the time. Alright, data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose, to locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax called the Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. Download the data. Interesting. So whoever previously owned this facility was trying to look for the Atlas, and then when they did, they vanished. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. There we go. Put that there. 
good. Uh, eventually I shall deal with the rest of these things, but for now, I'm gonna call it good. Get into my ship. And what is the next thing we need to do? It was hire a base farmer. Huh. Acquire a circuit board. Okay. Well, I'm sure when we go back to them, should be easy. So, agricultural research probably should go ahead. I'm not surprised in the slightest it's outside the local system. And in fact, I'm sure I know which system they're going to ask me to go to. Holy crap! Well, hello there, all new ships. What? Oh. Didn't realize you were there. Hello. I'm now upside down again. I took all the time to write some <laughs> write myself side up and then puts me upside down again. Let me look at the frigate here. Huh. It's a trade specialist, which is good. But a little outside of my price range. By a little, I mean a lot. Okay, well, that covers that at least. Um, I've at least tried them. Isn't there more? There is. Isn't there? I just can't tell where they are. Ah, there we go. I'm going to head over to you, and by the time I get to you, yep. Whoa! Whoo, that was an accident! Ooh, but it's fine. They took it as an accident. Oh, that is almost what I need. Not quite. Quite frankly, honestly, I'm not looking for trade frigates. I'm looking for a combat oriented one. Let me look at what you got. Combat specialist. Clumsy drill operator. Well, I mean, you guys wouldn't be needing to do that anyway. Stowaway botanist. A blade of armor. Combat specialist. Uh, I mean, you'd be great, but I don't have enough money for you. Also, this, this frigate looks very similar to my own. Well, this capital ship, I should say. Alright, um... That... Bruh. You can't just tell me they can hold a, salv a salvaged frigate module and then expect me not to engage in piracy. Jesus. That'd be so tempting. Dude. Okay. Trade specialist. And again, no money that can be spent on that. What about you? What about you? So you're, you are my only real hope that you are something worthwhile. Welcome us into your fleet. Well, I hope I can. Oh, damn it. You're an industry specialist anyway, so it wouldn't have even worked. Ah, I wanted someone combat-oriented. Man. Didn't I already check you? Pretty sure I already did, but I'm going to make sure. I... I already looked at you, I'm sure of this. Yeah, and no, you... I can't afford you. Right, I want to make sure you... You... This last one here... Is capable or not... To be afforded... Ah! It's a mining vessel anyway. Well... 
All hopes dashed. Ah, uh, no. Not exactly where I was aiming, but it gets me to where I was aiming, so close enough. Okay, well. We shall head over to the... S Actually, no, I didn't need to go to the space station. What am I thinking? I needed to go... To Unjikok Min. That actually isn't what the one I was thinking of. Also, what? What the what? The what? There's a mission, and it's in the shape of a frigate. Huh. Well, I can get the farmer at any time. I want to see what this is about. Hikuma Dawa. tell me I have enough in my hyperdrive to get home. I do. Okay. Thank you, merciful Jeebus. Alright. Uh, I have no idea why I'm here. I am extremely lost as to why I'm here. I have no idea. <laughs> I come here again because there was a weird marker and I just didn't understand it. Okay. We'd nest him. I have no idea. No idea at all. And then there's another planet over here. Which would be. Boblianium? <laughs> the hell that name is. Uh, high Sentinel Activity, though. Interesting. Alright, well. Alrighty. I'm gonna use a space station to get home. Trying to save some... If I could only have my freaking... You know what, screw it. There we go. Save some of my hyperspace fuel. There we go. And just use the teleport. Already. Okay. And then we go to this. Use this to buy an exosuit upgrade, which would be nice. Makes getting another frigate ship a little harder and out of our reach, but... Whispers of gravity. It technically is better. And it has more slots? Hmm. I mean, if the exchange is free. Exchange is free. I guess it's fine. Whispers of gravity. Okay. Not the prettiest looking thing, but it'll get the job done. On top of the fact that it will give me the chance to do some 
very nice upgrades. Although I should have pulled some of the upgrades off the other one before I did that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. Let's redo that. No problems there. Um, we form recycler. That would be nice. Do that there. Do this there. Do that there. And then put this here. Yeah, why not? Oh, I'd need a terrain manipulator over having one of these, honestly. Honestly, these aren't as useful as a terrain manipulator. So, at least for now, I'll have to prioritize this. But everything else I can easily do. No problems. Oh boy, the dihydrogen jelly. Thing I said I'd never need to use, and then all of a sudden. Alright. Okay, well, I got those upgrades out of the way. And we head. Ooh. Well, they look the same. It's whatever. Alright. Head back to here. Tell me my previous system. That would make things easier. Ah, it does! Good. Fantastic. And away we go. There we go. Brings me back to my previous system, which has my frigate here. I don't need the log to tell me how to do the thing I already know. Thank you. Choir circuit board. Okay. Um... Alright. Here we go. That's not what I wanted. I already have... I do have chromatic metal on here. Okay. Let's make a few more of these. There we go. Then get back on my frigate, which is apparently hosting a ton of ships while I'm gone. What the hell? What the... What the I was clearly... brush my fingers on my desk if you heard that. I apologize. Okay. I think it's ship. Yep, there's one right there. Cool. Oh, there's a green one right there. Well, it's probably not up to snuff compared to my ship. And I know I can't afford that, so screw it. I'm not gonna bother. Okay, I'm only on here for one thing, and one thing only, and it's for four of these. So I shall put them on my exosuit, actually, I'll put them on my starship, which is even better. And I shall use them to create a bunch of warp cells, which I will then shove into my hyperdrive. And with that, now done. I shall now leave. Bye-bye. Alright. It's only here for a few seconds. And... Alright. With that done, we shall now actually go after the other thing. Oh! Oh! Is that little icon where my fleet is... The fleet that I sent out on an expedition. Is that where they are? Huh. That's interesting if that's the case. Alright, let's actually go ahead and do the whole thing in regards to the farmer mission. Oh. 
Oh! I immediately get onto a fleet that requires help. Okay. Emergency comms established. Okay. Well. Yeah, they're clearly hostile. So I'm going to go deal with them. Okay, oh, oh geez. Oh gosh. Grab these if I can. Damn it, I missed. Okay. Well. Aim for something a little more easier to hit. Like that. Oh geez, ow. I'm getting hit. Again. Okay. Alright. You wanna play? We'll play. <laughs> Shields are nothing if they can't deflect a rocket barrage like that. They're absolutely nothing. Okay. I'm getting... Okay. Wow. I'm hitting lots of interesting things. Alright. Well, my shields are back at full maximum. Wow. They are just annihilating them with lasers and just not even hitting them. Ow! That hurt. You guys hit me. Alright. Did I save this frigate? Did I save this frigate? I guess I did. Okay. I guess I did. I don't understand what this admiral is saying. The life form, who must be the captain of this freighter, looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Well, rude if I turn them down. So I might as well, yeah. Wait, is it? Is it this? Is it this thing? Is it this thing? Oh boy, this is a big one. It's a big old capital ship. Destroyed 50 starships so far in my short campaign. Hmm. Your assistance will be rewarded. Well, interesting indeed. I'm pretty sure this will be the exact same sort of reward system where I can get paid either in chromatic metal or paid with the ship itself in my service. And I guess at that point it's just see if it's worth it or not. Okay. Gesturing wildly around the bridge, they point towards the control panel of their freighter. Let me actually look. It's pretty sizable, all right. They compare it to my current one. My current one doesn't nearly have as many things going for it. But I can't afford it anyway. That is extremely unfortunate. I would love to have this, though. Just because of the number of slots that are available. That alone is great. But I just don't have enough money. I just don't have nearly enough money. So I'll have to decline... And just go for the payment instead. Buying chrom a decent amount of chromatic metal. Is it enough to justify having to leave this behind? Maybe not. But it's something at least. Alright, let's put this on there. Good. Move this here. Move that there. Cool. Move this here. Okay, cool. Alright. 
Fantastic. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, never got a chance to see them either. All right, well, I did my good deed for the day. Might as well go get my farmer and get out of here. All right. All right, there we go. Head to the space station where I pick up the farmer recruit and then get out of here. Oop, okay, I almost screw up. But there is some frigates to possibly, possibly recruit. We'll look at them after I pick up the farmer. Because that is the only reason why I'm here, is to get that farmer. Well, might as well also pick up the uh, upgrade for everything else as well. Hey, Hireling Osu. Friend, you have worked for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across... Across. <laughs> across. Sure, you know what? We'll just go with an Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Why not? Across 12 systems and each one producing prize-winning cuisine. <laughs> That's not even an Elmer Fudd. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I grow all my own ingredients. Hi, all me. Yes? I don't know what accent I'm doing, but fuck it. I'm just going to keep it going. The Gek chirps happily at the sight of me. They promise to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. The required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. I don't know what kind of lisp he has, but fuck it. We're going with it. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. Okay. I think my ears might, but other than that, I think we're okay. Ah, uh, kill a chingada. Okay. That's just... Ooh. That's an interesting looking ship. Not interesting enough for me to pick it up, but it is interesting nonetheless. Go ahead and do the other things I was going to do. But in the meantime, let's end the episode as well. Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to get upgrades for my equipment as much as I can. And also, you know, picking up the odd stray here and there. This is definitely not worth doing anything with. To help continue growing my base this one including the farmer and then when we get back to the base we will then proceed to see what we can do with the armorer who we already have and the scientist who we already have simply just to see if there's anything i can do to help them help me which shouldn't be that hard hopefully anyway we'll see how it goes for you